Good morning. Well, I'm running late today. We went down to Y and I just wanted to go back to bed. So I did this morning for a while because I just felt grumpy today. And that's life. Sometimes it happens even to poor little old 90 year old grand went grandmas. Sometimes you wake up just a little grumpy, but that's an attack from the devil. So we just have to kick him aside. Say, Lord, I thank you. I got out of bed today and I feel good. So we went walking and got our exercise and that's good for you. And I came home and I was still a little grumpy. I don't know. It, it's an attack from the enemy. It's not from God. He's on our side, but the enemy is not. So I said, what, what am I gonna do? I gotta shake this off. So I said, get away and leave me alone, Satan. And I'm gonna clean my stove. So what did I do? I got busy cleaning my stove. But now I don't cook with that big oven. I cook in my electric cooker, which is a big one and it I just love it. I've been doing it for years. I don't I don't cook it. I keep that's a storage area. That's what dishwashers and ovens are for. I cook with my other oven and it I made a peach cobbler to take to that dinner. It's all gone. I made a big pot of potatoes and beans, green beans, with bacon grease and garlic uh, powder and onion, and it's all gone. We didn't get to bring any of it home, but we had a good supper, and the pastor preached good last night at that dinner. It was a passion dinner because this is Easter, and he preached an Easter service about he is alive. Jesus is alive. He is. And he, he died for us so that we can live with him forever. And anyhow, I was looking at some scripture this morning. And it was about, let me see if I can find it. It was so good. It said, thank God every morning. And anyhow, we do need to thank him every morning, especially when you're 90 and you're still getting out of bed and feel good. You're blessed when that happens. And I enjoyed yesterday and cooking and getting it done. And I found a book this morning and I was looking at it. I love cookbooks. I read cookbooks for fun sometimes. Fix it and forget it, it says cookbook. That's cooking with your um, slow cooker. And man, it's got some good looking recipes in it. And I was thinking to myself, I wonder if I could cook these same recipes in my Ninja Foodie, my pressure cooker. And you, it wouldn't take four hours. Could I do that? I don't know, I'm gonna think about it because there was some good looking recipes in here. I know good and well, you know, I buy a rack of ribs. I'm gonna cook one pretty soon for James cause he just loves them. And I put, I cut them up in about two ribs each and I flavor them and I put some smoke on them, you know, liquid smoke and barbecue sauce. And, and I put them in the Ninja Foodie pressure cooker and you can cook those in 20 minutes and they fall off the bone and they're delicious. They're in the freezer. I gotta thaw them out. And I, I just enjoy cooking very much. I don't know if all y'all do or not, but I do. I didn't read that scripture. Oh, here it is. It is so good. February 1st, 2024 was when it was put on by somebody, but Psalms 91:11, For he will command his angels concerning you to guard you in all your ways. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not to your own understanding. He takes care of us and he took care of me through my grumpy morning and it's gone. Thank you, Jesus. Oh man, that is not fun. You know what? Any age you are. I don't know. I, like I said, I usually wake up happy as anything. But you clean the stove or do something you need doing, you can get over it. And then I put into practice, pretend you're happy. And I said, well, I'm happy. <laughs> I wasn't that happy, <laughs> but I am now. It passed. The Bible says this too shall pass. And you know, that goes for about everything. 
This too shall pass. Nothing stays hardly. Everything keeps changing. I had a really good girlfriend, and I say I had because now she's in heaven. But she would say, we would go to the flea markets together, and she would look at everything. And she would say, you know, I had I had all this, and I had I had this very set of dishes. She said, but she moved into a small unit, and she says, but that passed. Everything keeps changing. I said, that's life, Anna Marie. Everything keeps changing, folks, and you have to adapt. How do you like these earrings? I found them down at that thrift store, and I fixed that shirt. It is now ready to wear. That one that I thought I couldn't, I thought I couldn't find one, and it's really silky and pretty. I'm going to wear it tomorrow. I finally got the, I cut the sleeves off and hemmed them like I do these because, see, I do dishes all the time. I don't like James's dishwasher, and that's mainly where I do dishes. I don't like a dishwasher. I want to get my dishes and get them done right now and be done with it. You have to wait. I get impatient. I want to get her done. When I when I make that big king size bed in our bedroom on at James's house, I, he you would think he was fighting tigers, tigers or something, during the night because that twit cover will be so twisted up. So I say, could you help me make the bed back up? And he says, right now. He says, could we do that a little bit later? And I says, you want to wait till Saturday? And I think he does, <laughs> which when it's Monday, <laughs> sometimes he puts off things pretty much, but I like this white scarf. And I tell you what, I think the Lord that talking to y'all has helped me. And I heard that how, you know, Granny Pat said when she got her YouTube, she said it was a blessing to her because she lived alone and she was lonely, and she made so many friends. And you know I've done that same thing. And I know a lot of y'all by name now. When you come on, I know who you are. And it's good to see you. You know, like Doc Vantilla and Dorm, Dorm, Dorm. Well, anyhow, D is the way it comes on. And she's always interested, interesting stuff. And the girl that puts the red bird on. When I see her little red bird, I know she's got something nice to say. I, I just know y'all. I haven't had any uh, real mean stuff, but if you put mean stuff on, guess what? I did one time, and I found out you could delete that. I deleted it. I didn't want y'all looking at it. Nobody needs to look at mean stuff on TV or on YouTube, and we should not judge each other, and be careful about that. The Bible says, judge not lest you be judged. And she was judging wrongly. And now I'm judging whoever. I don't know if it was a man or a woman. But it was not a nice comment. And like like Granny, Granny Pat put on, nobody wants to be criticized. I mean, if you can't say something nice, just keep your mouth shut. <laughs> That's my opinion. So life goes on, kids, and learning things even though i'm 90 we can still learn things my brother norman yesterday no day before straightened me out on something that i didn't know he said you're really doing good sis with your youtube but you got one thing wrong i said what was it what did i do wrong he said well you said that the smiths were just scared of tornadoes and yet you thought it was for no reason he said did you know back when before they built those shelters, to the Smiths and Smith Holler built those shelters. He said, did you know that a tornado come through there, through the mountains? I said, I never heard tell of it. I really didn't know about it, Norman. But I appreciate you telling me. Yes, he said, a tornado came through there, and it tore. It flattened a lot of stuff in the woods, and from then on, Frank Smith, my cousin, distant cousin, he said, we're going to have a shelter. And so he made a shelter and they kept it. But that put the scare in all the Smiths 
And I guess I am a little smith because I'm really tickled to have a basement now with all those big trees around the house where I sleep each night with James. I'm glad we got a basement because I fixed we fixed a bed up down there. I haven't got it made up yet. And I saw the bed this morning when we got up. Me and James left. It's going to take two people to make that bed again, but it's time to change the sheet anyway, and he has to help me. We'll get her done somehow or other. Well, it's been fun. You all have cheered me up this morning. I was a little grumpy when I got out of bed. Kim says, uh, James says, come on. When we was at, at the Y and he knew I was a little grumpy. He said, come on, let's go. So we went home and fixed breakfast. I probably needed a little food or something, you know, but sometimes those things happen. So be not dismayed. Just do the best you can and keep on trucking. That's what we do. I love you kids. You do cheer me up because I feel like I am just talking to you and you're sympathetic. I can hear it. I can just see now some of those comments y'all are going to say to Grandma and I love them already because y'all are sweet. None of my kids has been un unkind or ugly to me. They always tell me I'm pretty. I'm not that pretty, but this you know what? I work at what I do. I always did. I was always primping. Even when I was a little girl, you could see pictures of me and I got a bow in my hair, a flower in my hair, a scarf around my neck. I haven't stopped. I already get that red wig out. It's in the drawer. And wear it for y'all one of these days and see how I look as a redhead. Have I got the guts to do that and show all y'all 60,000 people that I'm a redhead with a wig on? I don't know. I'll think about it. Y'all thought y'all think about it. Let me know what you think. I might get it out and comb it up and shake it. You know, you take a wig and you just shake it like that and put it on, then just straighten it out. They're so easy, easy. God bless y'all. It's been fun. Thank you for cheering me up this morning. You have already. I can just see you there grinning on your face. <laughs> and I'm grinning. Love you. Walk that walk where Jesus Christ would be pleased with you. And you know, he died for us. He gave his life. He said, not my will, but thine be done, O Lord. But he knew from the beginning. So his, God's will was done. It's amazing what the Lord Jesus did for us when you think about it. And we have a lot of soldiers and people that have given their lives. And we're thankful to those that serve our country. And the first responders, God bless them. And God bless y'all. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. That's them old sayings from an earlier age.